Hey guys, this video is going to be similar to the doppelganger video I made a while back. So if you haven't seen that yet, make sure to go back and check it out. But the general idea is that Krieg was supposed to return in the main game of Borderlands 3, not just in audio logs, but as an actual character. He was going to interact with Maya and our playable Vault Hunters, and he played a role in taking down the COV. Before I get into that, make sure to use code HATER at SCUFF for 5% off your order. And if you want, you can go check out my second channel, Fonked, as well for variety gaming videos. And with that, let's get right into it. So I made a tweet yesterday going over some of just the surface level information and it was received really well. So I wasn't going to make this video, but because so many of you guys were interested, I thought I'll compile everything and get it out there for you with some of the audio. So, as I mentioned, there is some cut audio that was found in the game files, thanks to friend of the channel Cruddy Borderlands Theories, which unfortunately doesn't give any new Krieg lines, but it gives a lot of lines of dialogue with Maya where she mentions Krieg, and parts of the story that never made it into final release. So, let's get right into the audio itself. Don't shoot, Vault Hunter. I know he's a psycho, but he's... he's not like the others. Easy, easy. Here's the plan. I'll go distract Malawan while you take the Vault Hunter to the base. Krieg, I need you to do this for me. Show the Vault Hunter the way, then we'll catch up. That sound good, big guy? Vault Hunter, you can trust Krieg. But if he offers you something to eat, don't. Catch up with you later. Down the chute, Vault Hunter. Krieg and I are going to take the fight to Malawan. Mission's yours, Reese. Well, the universe provides in mysterious ways. Or something. Krieg, can you get us closer to the laser controls? Easy, Krieg. It's okay. You heard what Lilith said. Sanctuary's gone, but we're all still Vault Hunters. Including you. You must have made an impression on Krieg, Vault Hunter. He said to tell you he'd be your ribcage spelunker any day. Burnt turkey. Oh, the Firehawk. He's saying Lilith ordered him to infiltrate the COV, but he got captured by this Chief Krushja. And from this audio is where we get the information of Krieg being a spy that infiltrates the COV for Lilith. Then after we rescue him, he also comes with us and helps us take down Malawan on Promethea. So it would have been very cool to see Krieg interact with Maya before she died in the game. Which still doesn't sit 100% right with me, but I will get into that later and how I think they will end up bringing Maya back in Krieg's mind later down the road. But the next logical question is, if there is audio for Krieg and conversations with him, what about an updated design? And how far along did Krieg make it in development? And why don't we hear any other audio from him except from the echologues? Well, for one of those questions, we do know they made it far enough to create a new model, and there are two pieces of evidence for it. The first is a Reddit post from Magrick, who made a post saying, quote, It looks like we might be getting some new characters soon. I couldn't actually select it or see it in the box, but it stayed there. Has anyone experienced this before? And then he included this picture where he is at his pause screen, where we can see this image that says new characters and a circle around two of the characters. I will also say it's probably safe to assume they don't mean new playable characters and it will just be new NPCs, so don't expect still new playable characters yet. But this started out as just the lock screen, and this was the only image we had. But then once again, Cruddy Borderlands Theories was able to go into the files of the game and find this image. Now, the way it's set up in the game files is it's only the quality on the pause screen, so it is still very, very small. But we were able to remove the filter and get the image unedited without anything else on top of it. So it is slightly more clear, but it's still very grainy. And in the image, we can see most of the characters that appeared in the game with a few notable additions. To the right of Claptrap, we see a young boy. I've seen some people speculate that this is the orphan Marcus is telling the stories to, or maybe even Pickle from the pre-sequel. But actually, this is Scooper, who is Scooter's son, and was also supposed to have a plotline in Borderlands 3, but once again was cut and removed. But that's a video for a whole nother day. Then behind Claptrap, we can see a character with orange hair. At first, people were thinking this was Gage, and it still could be, maybe just an early design of Gage. But more recently, we have seen her final design in that new DLC 2 trailer that was released for Borderlands 3. And I don't really know how they would have made the jump from this very orange-haired character to what we got in this DLC. So I'm not really sure who that character is. There is some other evidence out there, but once again, another video, another time. 
And then finally, next to her and behind Claptrap, we can see Krieg. And I would say this is basically, without a doubt in my mind, this is Krieg. And I don't really think there's anyone arguing about it. So yes, he does have an updated model in Borderlands 3. And even more recently, a community member on Twitter, Master of Lemons, reached out to me on Twitter and found another image of Krieg in the game files. The name of the file is T underscore FX underscore Krieg underscore I underscore Flash. And he speculated that some event or mission in game will trigger this image to appear on screen revealing Krieg. Once again, it is a very small image, but it does look like a slightly updated design compared to how Krieg looked in Borderlands 2. So with all of this, we know he has an updated design. We know that he had the storyline where he was going to infiltrate the COV. He was going to help us take down Malawan and probably was going to be there at the end. All of this is proven. We know this. And now we can close out talking about Krieg's DLC. Gearbox was recently at PAX East and announced the second DLC for Borderlands 3, but they also gave a few hints for the next two DLCs as well, which are DLCs 3 and 4. And while discussing DLC 4, which Randy Pitchford said is still not 100% set in stone and could still change, he implied though that Krieg would be the title character, which is really interesting, and if you remember back, I did a video with Epic and NG, and we kind of talked about where's Krieg in Borderlands 3, why isn't he going to show up, and this was all the way back in August, and I speculated that they were going to probably save him for a DLC, and now fast forward, it looks like that's exactly what happened, and I'm excited to see how it plays out. So, let's play the clip. This is going to be the most value-packed season pass I think in the history of games uh, and we we can see ahead now working backwards from the end we're just beginning DLC 4 so I can't I don't there's there's still so much uncertain about it but I wanted to give you a little list of hints um, about what the nature of DLC 4 is uh, there's a character that I love that a lot of us love that was not in Borderlands 3 and uh, we think that that character deserves uh, a showcase and, uh, and not just that character, there's going to be lots of characters, fan favorites, and uh, new and old. And, uh, and basically, uh, the hint that I'll give you is we're going to see, and this isn't locked in stone yet, so don't crucify me later if we change things, because we're just getting started on this. But uh, we're going to see if we can experience what it's like to be inside the head of the wildest psycho we know. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> And the last thing I want to talk about is how I think they will bring Maya back in Borderlands 3. I don't think they'll bring her back to life, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a similar situation to what we saw in Borderlands 2 and Tina bringing back Roland for the Dragon's Keep DLC. How it would work if it's something in Krieg's mind, or if he just visualizes her so we see her, or maybe he thinks that Ava's Maya and just confuses her for the DLC. I'm not sure, but I know that fans really want closure on that relationship on top of just learning more about Krieg in general. So I really do hope that they keep the Krieg idea for this DLC and don't remove it and readjust to something else. But that's everything we know about the cut storyline that featured Krieg, the hints that we have in game files, his updated design, and what to look forward to in DLC 4. That's where I'm going to end this video. Make sure to like and share. Subscribe for weekly Borderlands news. And I will see you guys in the next one.